Right. So, uh, because in the last sessions we discussed about uh, the basics of data engineering, at the same time, why data engineering uh, and what are the different different uh, features which are used in data engineering, like Azure Data Factory, right? So that part, everything we discussed in the last session. Wherein today, I am going to discuss about uh, uh, Fabric API uh, for uh, GraphQL Editor, which is especially uh, part of data engineering part. Normally, as far as the data engineering itself is concerned, whenever we are working on Azure environment, because if you want to work on data engineering, it's always important for us to choose any of the cloud service provider, either it can be an AWS or it can be Azure. As far as our training is concerned, actually we have taken Azure as a platform. In reference to the Azure platform, uh, wherein we need to create multiple aspects of uh, cloud service providers, which we need to be used with. In regard to that, Fabric API for uh, graphical QL editor is what something which normally we have to be worked on as a data engineering developer or a, or a professional. First of all, we must be knowing about what generally Fabric API for GraphQL is all about. It is majorly provides a graphical in browser, graphical QL development environment, which majorly enables an uh, interactive playground to compose test at the same time to see the live results by performing queries, mutations, all that. In this regard, if you can see it, right, so as in when I'm showing you an code, right, so wherein if you can go to this editor, open, this is what and how generally an uh, open API for GraphQL uh, iter is all about. So, so wherein we need to select the query, right, so over here, right, so what are the query we want to select, right? So we need to create and select the query, uh, wherein uh, which will be in the uh, lower left corner of the portal, right? So you can see over here. So wherein we need to type the code directly on the query tab itself. Here we can uh, type the uh, code, right? So wherein by uh, providing the capabilities are available, right? So wherein when we are writing the query for uh, customer first items, as well as the find of first names, et cetera, all that. Wherein this has to be reviewed in the graphical QL schema, which majorly defines the single post type of queries and all, to read a single post or list of all the posts and all. At the same time, it also defines the mutations which are required for us to create, update, and delete the post, which are supporting for uh, uh, cradle because cradle stands for uh, because we need to have a understanding let me write down here right so because we need to update the cradle part it's a cradle part so wherein here in this cradle this is all about this create wherein we need to read it at the same time we need to update delete followed by list right so this is what generally the uh, credit list of use cases is what something which normally we do, but for that generally we use JSON files. We will be using some JSON files wherein we can read whatever the data is being exposed via graphical UL using of any query. Normally there are different file formats, something like JSON, etc. So wherein we need to type the post of ID followed by the title string name or content string etc everything wherein we need to have a json file as separate to perform this activity so whatever the data are we going to write in context to the mutations to create the post or to create required parameters responses or at the same time to perform any kind of query variables right so because normally query variables which are used uh, for us to pass any kind of parameters as well as variables to the queries or mutations these variables majorly works the same way as variables in any other programming language because each and every variable needs to be cleared, declared a name and at the same time it is majorly used for us to access the value stored in it 
At the same time, we can also modify it slightly based upon the use of query variables, what we have to be used with. So this is what generally and how generally Fabric API is what something which normally looks like. So being into data engineering side, whenever we are working on data engineering using Azure platform, this is what and how generally Fabric API for uh, GraphQL editors and all everything are being used. So this is all about the session today. If you have any questions, please go ahead.